Michael, congratulations into the semi-final of the Betfred World Match Play. How would you sum up that performance overall? Overall, I think I did all right. I think my scoring power, especially on the end of the game, was superb. But uh, we all know the three darts doubles was really poorly, and that's, then you make yourself quite difficult. But more important, I won. In the middle part of the game, us watching, you looked extremely frustrated with yourself. Was it as bad as what you looked? No, because if you're too frustrated, you can perform like a I did afterwards. Because after, I think my scoring power was dominating him. Uh, I, I probably could have won the last 15 legs, uh, I think, because I think I was uh, by far the better player, but you still need to hit your doubles at the right moments and the right times. And uh, yeah, we all know, I made myself a bit difficult, but I won, and that's the only thing that matters at this stage of the tournament. We saw you produce near your best against Luke Littler over the game, but the other two games it's been patchy. What do you know put right? to get it right for a longer format game? Well, I think I did quite well, especially when I had to play well, I did play well, so that's what you want. Whenever tough times are around the corner, you need to make sure you produce, and that's exactly what I did. So, whatever people say or think, I'm capable of doing anything at this moment. I feel good, I feel comfortable. Uh, I have the belief that I can win this tournament, so let them come. If you were to go out and win this, would this be even more special considering where you've come from this year? Yeah, may, maybe it is, but uh, I don't want to go that far yet. Tomorrow, first one is going to be on Michael Smith or uh, Rob Cross. It's going to be a tough one again, but uh, I believe in my own ability and uh, I feel comfortable. And the way how I played, of course, in patches was really good. The patches were sloppy on the doubles, but I've won. And that gives you confidence, that gives you more will to win for the next round. Michael, congratulations. Thank you. Michael, what were you most pleased with? about that performance? Uh, the will to win, the way how I uh, dealt with difficult circumstances in this game, I think that was good. I think Andrew's finishing early on in particular. Sort of. I know, I know, but my scoring was so much better than his, but you still have to do the right things there for yourself and make sure you hit the doubles at the right moments, because I also could have been 7-3 down if he hit the two darts on, I think, double 10, I can't really remember. Um, but I won, and that's the only thing that comes for me at the moment. Do you think there was maybe a difference in, in stamina towards the end of the game? You were sort of getting a little bit better, whilst Andrew's level was going down. Yeah, well, for him, for him was the first time uh, that he was playing a formal like this. So of course, that's tough. That's not that easy. Everyone thinks, ah, well, no. If you never play the formal like this, it's it's tough. It's a lot of tense constantly. You need to focus yourself constantly, and you're not allowed to make mistakes. And then when you play good players. That stuff sometimes. Thank you. Michael, speaking to you two days ago, we know that you didn't underestimate Andrew Gilden, but is it tough when there's such a huge expectation to beat the opponent in front of you? Of course, there's a lot of expectation on my shoulders to, be, to beat him, and we all know he's not the most attractive guy to, to, to watch, but he still can play darts, and that makes it difficult. And uh, his pace is not fine for quicker players like me, but you have to deal with the situation, and it's not always easy. But uh, I think I did I did all right, and of course there's still more in the tank, but uh, there's still a long tournament to go. And whoever you play next, it'll be a different level of play, a former world champion, Premier League player. Yeah, you, know, you don't know how they're going to perform either, so this might be enough as well. You never know, but. Uh, I need to make sure I uh, start my preparation right again. I do the, exactly the same routine, and then we're going to see what's going to happen. So there's no different preparation in between. No, the no chance. No, brilliant, Michael. You have to take everyone serious. Yeah. Brilliant, thank you, Michael. Michael, congratulations. Period of that match, particularly sort of the middle section, you were nipping at Andrew's heel just to maybe to get level before reeling off. I think it was eight legs or so to move in front. Is that something that's on your mind when you're behind? Once you get one, you just want to start running. I just, I just winding myself up too much. You know what I mean? I know I've got the ability to, to, to hurt him, to do, to, to, to make him suffer, but then you have to do it at the right moments. And I was missing too many doubles. I think I was on 25% of my doubles after 10 legs or something. Do you know what I mean? You shouldn't put yourself in that position, but when you don't do the right things, that, that can happen. But uh, more important, it was a really long game, so you have time to recover, you have time to, 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 to try to get over it, and that's why I did. You said you won't change your prep much ahead of tomorrow, but... Why would I? Not for me to say, but... Exactly. Tomorrow you... My preparation is exactly the same if it was Luke Littler, Phil Taylor, 
Glenn Durant, Anderson, whoever it is. You always need to pre pre prepare yourself 100%, otherwise you're failing yourself. You do something not right, you know what I mean? You always need to take everyone serious, try to do the right things. Sometimes it doesn't work there, and you don't do the right thing in the game, but still the preparation always has to be good. The preparation remains the same, but tomorrow, whichever player comes through this, we're probably going to be facing someone that, for all the difference in ability, is going to be playing a faster game. Is that something that you think about going in? No, no, because you need, to, you need to look game by game, uh, and of course they're, they're a little bit quicker. But is Rob that much quicker than, than, uh, than the guy I played today? I don't think so. Mike Schmidt is definitely a quicker player. but. That's something to worry about tomorrow. First, now I'm going to enjoy this win, make sure I uh, get the right energy out of this, and then I think tomorrow I can do uh, so another good damage. Michael, fantastic performance today. Obviously, you talked about hitting the right doubles at the right time, and that 136 to go in at the break, A7 down. Would you say that that was a turning point when you came back after the break? Mm, yes, yes, yeah, of course, that, that, that helps a lot because otherwise you, you're going to be nine six down again and then you're making yourself incredibly difficult again and uh, you don't want to make it yourself that difficult but that's darts sometimes as well. Uh, you, need to, you need to try to uh, maintain your own focus going and that's not always easy but you have to keep, keep, keep trying and fighting your own battles. And with what happened last year against Brendan Durand, obviously with this tournament... Yeah, but last year there was, a f I think it was first round, didn't it? First round. Yeah, lovely. No, <laughs> it's a bit different. Now it's a different format. It's a different meet and a different tournament. So uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Thank you. Thank you.